I've uploaded a few videos onto YouTube where I play my Electone EL900, but the sounds are created using the Grand Org pipe organ emulator software. A couple of people have contacted me asking how they could set up a similar system for themselves, and this video is attempting to help out. I should explain that I'm not involved with the Grand Org project in any way, and I'm not an expert using the software, so I can only relate to my own experiences. On the Grand Org website, there is a user forum and also a lot of documentation. The hardware that you'll need in addition to Electone is a computer and a MIDI interface. You may also need an audio interface, depending on whether this is integral to your computer. A touchscreen is a very convenient way of using the software while sat at the Electone without having to reach for a mouse. If you are buying a computer, the next question is what specification do you need? The chart here shows the processor that I have in my computer, the G3220, comparing it with modern CPUs. You can see that the processor I have is an old processor and very slow by modern standards. However, it is plenty fast enough to run the software. Therefore, you don't need to buy an expensive computer. You will need a minimum of eight gigabytes of memory. 8 gigabytes will fit some of the smaller sample sets that are available. I've 12 gigabytes of memory in mine, and that fits in quite a wide range of sample sets. Having tried several different sets of organ samples, I find that I'm using about 100 gigabytes of disk space. So a 512 gigabyte disk is going to be plenty sufficient for your requirements. I chose to use an SSD because that's a little bit quicker loading, but that is certainly not essential. You will need a MIDI to USB interface. I have read that there are a number of very cheap interfaces available, but not all work well. So you may be advised to buy a decent branded product. I'm using the MIDI Sport one, which works perfectly. You will also need a standard MIDI cable, which will connect from the Electone to the MIDI interface. The cable needs to plug into the out socket. On my EL900, the MIDI sockets are under the keyboard section over on the right hand side. You need to plug into the out socket. And I believe the host select switch must be slid to the left to where it says MIDI as shown in my photo. The other end of that cable will plug into the input to the MIDI interface. And then from there, you connect the USB into your computer. With that out of the way, you go to the Grand Org website and download the software. Once the software is downloaded, you can just run the installer. and then open the software. As the software opens, it will load the default organ, which is the test organ that comes with the software, letting you see a screen like this. The first stage of configuring the software is to connect it to your MIDI interface. Don't forget that depending on which MIDI interface you've used, you may need to install drivers from the manufacturer. To connect the MIDI interface to the software, you need to select the little panel that appears in the top left. Go to the Audio MIDI menu and select Audio MIDI settings. From the window that opens, go to the MIDI Devices tab. If the MIDI device is already installed, it will appear here. But if not, then you can use the Add button to add it in later. 
I have found that the software only recognizes MIDI devices that were installed prior to opening the software. So if you have to make changes to the MIDI software itself, you'll need to close Grand.org and reopen it once you've finished configuring your MIDI device. The next step is to map the keyboards, the pedal board, and the expression pedal from your Electone to the software. To do this, right click on one of the keyboards in the software, click listen for event, and then press one of the keys on the Electone keyboard. Repeat this for the other keyboard and the pedal. The process for the expression pedal is slightly different. Right click over the pedal shown in the graphic and click on detect complex MIDI setup. You'll then be prompted to fully open the Electone's expression pedal and then to fully close the expression pedal, after which it will be detected and you click OK. Once you've mapped the controls, it is very important that you save these so that you don't have to redo this each time you open the software. To do this, go to the File menu from the panel in the top left and click Save. You should now be able to select Stops on the Grand Org display and press the notes on your Electone and hear the organ. If you don't hear anything, check that you are correctly listening to the audio output of the computer with either your headphones or whatever amplifier you've chosen to use. If you still hear nothing, go back to the panel Click on the Audio MIDI menu. From the window that opens, select Audio Output. And for me, I found that if I click the Revert to Default, that makes it work correctly. You'll need to click OK and once again go to the File menu and save your settings to ensure you don't have to redo this. Once you have the software working correctly, you will want to find and install a full organ sample set. The Grand Org web page has links to various organs. So follow through those and click on the links through to the supplier of the software. And again, follow a link there to download the software and you'll get a organ package. Once you have the organ package, it's very simple to install it within the software. You need to place it in an appropriate folder of your choosing and then double click and the Grand Org software will automatically open this organ for you. For each separate organ sample set, you need to go through the process of mapping the keyboards and the pedals and the expression pedal and not forgetting to save after you've done this for every separate organ. The last thing you might like to do is to map the 16 registration buttons on the Electone to 16 general memories within the Grand Org software. Again, this has to be done separately for each sample set that you choose to use. To do this, go to the panel at the top left and select Generals. In the dialog that opens, right click over where it says One, and as we've done before, press Listen for Event, and then press Registration 1 on the Electone. Right click on 2 in Grand Org, Listen for Event, and press Registration 2 on the Electone, and so on until you've finished all of those. Not forgetting, of course, to save your settings every time you've done these changes. You can then map the 16 registrations inside Grand Org to settings on the organ. The way this is done is that you choose a combination of stops in Grand Org. Then in the Generals dialog, press the Set button and press Piston 1 or wherever you wish to save it to. And then you must press Set again so that it's cleared. Then back in Grand Org, you change the settings on the organ to what you want for the second registration. Press the Set button, press 2 in the dialog and then again press set again and so on until you've finished setting those up. 
So now I'm pressing registrations one and two alternately on my electone, and you can see that the organ is responding. Last thing is to save your settings once again, and you're now ready to use the organ. Well, I'm sorry that this video has become so long, but I hope you will find it useful. If there's anything you have a problem with and you can't find the answer from the Grand Org website, then pop your email address into the YouTube comments and I'll get back to you and see if I can help.